Wow. Looks like I just cut my microphone on. Let's see if it's working. All right, it's working now. Well, God bless you all. I just uh, got in from uh, Sneedville, Tennessee. Just finished up another successful singing, preaching, revival meeting. And uh, it was successful because the truth was proclaimed, and I am fulfilled by that. In addition to that, I am fulfilled because a precious soul came to the water in faith, obeyed the gospel, put on Christ in baptism, and it was beyond rewarding. That's what I'm living for, is bringing souls to the cross. That's why we live. That's why we are on this planet, is to fear God and keep his commandments. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, this is man's all. This is the whole duty of man. This is why we're on the planet, y'all. So I just got back from Sneedville, and I'm home. I don't have anything planned for us today other than uh, catching up, being back home, visiting. Huh. Why are the chat's not showing up. I happen to have my phone. Well, there's no comments on the broadcast. I happen to have my phone sitting here and I can see that there's comments. Why are there no comments? Well, that's not good. Well, John let me know that uh, there was no sound. Shane let me know that there was no sound. Shane let me know that there was sound. Oh, I see Clay is with us. Clay is from, uh, uh, I found Clay on TikTok. Or Clay found me on TikTok or I found Clay on TikTok. Clay and I found each other on TikTok. Huh. I am doing well, Clay. It's good to see you. I'm glad to be home. I'm very glad to be home from my work. Uh, Shane says, we were three hours from you in Cleveland, Tennessee, not India. <laughs> Shane told me he was almost home. Murphy's Law. I don't know why that would be doing that. I've never had that happen to where the comments weren't showing up. I don't really know what to do with it. Travis Cox, good to see you, brother. Well, I can see my comments on Facebook. I mean, I guess I could, I don't even know where else to look. I mean, I've got my YouTube and the Digital Bible Study YouTube and Digital Bible Study Facebook, and that's where I am is on all these platforms, but I do not know. Huh. Troy is on with us on uh, YouTube. And now I see Exum's comments on, so all I can do is go to comments on, uh, man, I'm about to refresh this page and see if that fixes it. It'll mess up the broadcast for a second, but it'll be back. And if it does mess it up and it's not coming back, I'm going to restart the broadcast. No joke. All we're doing is catching up and uh, talking about the work, celebrating fruit. I'm refreshing the site. Let's see if it works. Oh, the comments are all here. Yay. Constance is with us. Good to see you. Thanks for letting me know that there was no sound. Oh, and I've got to decline a call. Right as soon as that happens, I've got to decline a call. Let me let him know. Oh, just a second. Sorry to be awkward. Okay, there we go. So John's with us. Good to see you. Shane's with us. Good to see you. Troy's um, with us. And good to see you. Thanks for all of you letting me know my sound was not good. And now my sound is on. Jonathan says, just finished my first class session for the Hyderabad School of Preaching in Hyderabad, India. It was online. John, I'm grateful for you doing that. Thank you for doing that. I was talking to... Uh, Daniel Welker about that. 
Clay, it's good to see you. Thank you for your work, your faithfulness. I don't know, but a child told me that it sounded like a place where um, a... Uh, what's it called? Dr. Seuss. It sounded like a Dr. Seuss place. Travis, it's good to see you. Okay, so I got our first prayer request. So we will be praying at the end of the broadcast. I do not have any plans for how long the broadcast will go today. Bad bus crash. Jonathan Exum's work with the Hyderabad School of Preaching. Thanks. Anna, good to see you. Anna's over on TikTok too, hanging out with all the hardworking Christians over there. Awesome. Oh, that's no fun when that happens. Answer I employ, implore. Amen. Baltimore Bridge disaster. I don't even know anything about that. All right, we'll pray for that too. So we're just visiting, catching up, uh, update on the past work, and then um, I'll let y'all know where I'm going to be preaching next, my next meetings, and uh, update on the van. Did you send to Carpenter? Right over my head. I have no idea what that meant. Oh, the whole bridge fell into the water? Oh. Eef. Let's see. Travis's prayer request. The bad bus crash. Yes. Thank you, Travis. Good to see you. Yep. Got it. Oh, awful. Awful. Audio files. I'll do that after this. Actually, I'm going to uh, shoot a him video. Um, there was one. Almighty Jesus. Uh, it's a song that I wrote not that long ago, recorded, and I haven't produced a hymn video in a long time. And the um, ornamental cherry tree is blossoming outside my bedroom window door. Uh, I've got a little deck outside my bedroom door, sliding glass door, and I'm going to shoot a video. I have a yearly, um, I shoot a yearly video when it blooms. It blooms for about two weeks, and it's in full bloom right now. Beautiful. So I'm going to shoot a, a video for Almighty Jesus. And Shane, I will uh, send audio files after that. After that. Man. Wow. Wow, that's a big bus. It must be multiple vehicles. All right, so Clay's got a request for prayers for new job schedule so he can assemble. Mm hmm You got it, Clay. We'll pray for that for sure. So I just got back from. Um, we need to pray for the Ukraine and the war. Yes, we will pray for Ukraine. Definitely. So I just got back from Sneedville. Oh, awful. Sneedville was where my last meeting was. Small congregation, wonderful, wonderful, hardworking brethren there. And there was one conversion. So that's fulfilling. I love doing, I love the work that I'm privileged to do. I love doing what I do. So we rejoice over that. We're going to pray for that. Sneedville fruit. Sneedville fruit. I will be in Ohio next. Next month, I'll be headed to Ohio to... I'll tell you where it is. Mansfield. So I'll be in Mansfield, Ohio from the 21st to the 24th next month. Um, after that, so we're going to pray for that fruit. 
and then fruit for from that work. And uh, after that, I'll be in West Virginia the month after that for a tent revival. Now I get to bring my um, baptistry. That's exciting. Oh, look at this. Two denominational preachers were recently converted by the Hyderabad School. Good fruit. Amen. Denominational preachers are now Christians, exclamation point. Wonderful. We will rejoice in prayer for that. That's wonderful. Thanks for sending the video, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I'll get to bring my baptistry again with us to the, the tent revival. I guess that's in May. Yeah, May. May is the, the West Virginia yearly tent revival. Excited about that work. I love that work. Uh, C.J. Marshall is coming to polishing the pulpit this year, and I'm going to put him up in my camper van. So that's exciting. So I need to get it set up. So I've been working on the camper van, worked on it yesterday. I got the hitch, receiver hitch mounted. So um, because it's a uh, Penske van, they didn't have receiver hitches on it. So people couldn't tow with it because they didn't want to tow with their van, which is good for me. I don't want it to have 130,000 miles worth of towing work done with it. So I put on a tow hitch, receiver hitch yesterday, and I also wired it for towing. So I put the four-way flat trailer plug on there. And what that will enable me to do is, Steve, thank you so much. We I, Somebody else just said that in the comments, and I have added that to the prayer request. So thank you for that. We were, we we're going to be praying for that. So I added um, trailer wiring and the ability to tow with my van so that I can tow the tracker. It's going to be awesome. So I have the little geo tracker, and that's the definitive towed. That's what they call vehicles that you commonly tow behind campers. They're called toads because they are towed. So I will be able to bring the track. The reason it's the, the definitive tracker is because you can safely tow it with all four wheels flat on the ground. It can be towed without needing a, a tow dolly or a uh, car dolly, like a full car trailer or anything. You can just put it on the ground and hook it up. So I'm working towards the goal of uh, setting up the front end. I've got tow bars for it and I'm gonna have to weld something on the front end to make it towable. That's good stuff. No, I'm not taking my Sears with me. So um, uh, I'll be taking, the reason I need to, to take the, the tracker with me to polishing the pulpit in August is because um, I will have CJ with me. So he's going to, I think he's riding the train maybe. I'll pick him up at a train station. I'll take him to uh, where I'm going to be camping. He will be staying with me in my camper. And then and I won't be able to ride my e-bike back and forth to the um convention center. So I will be, uh, I'll need my tracker to drive back and forth. So that's going to be fun anyway, because summertime in the tracker with the bikini top on the tracker and it's all kind of bliss. So that's exciting stuff working towards that. Um, I have, um, I've got the water pump for the, um, shower, uh, ordered for the, for the camper conversion. And that's come in and I've dragging my feet on the uh, water tanks. I'm dragging my feet on picking water tanks. So I have these water tanks picked out for the underneath. It's, they're undercarriage water tanks. I would want a uh, fresh water tank and a uh, gray water tank for the, for the camper. And uh, I've got them. And one Christian pointed out to me that uh, when they're under the tank, they're under the van, they're a lot more susceptible to freezing. And I thought, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, you can insulate them, but I don't know. But and the reason I wanted them underneath is because interior space is at a premium on the inside of the van. I want the van to be as empty as possible. I can't decide now. It is. It's a. Um, it's a two fifty, so it's set up for towing. Plus the tracker only weighs um, 2,800 pounds. It's just this little tiny 
tiny thing, 2,600 pounds. Yeah, it's not much. It's a tiny little thing. And the evil spirit answered and said to them, I recognize your van and I know about toes, but I don't know about toads. Jonathan with his nonstop Bible puns. I'm trying to connect the dots and I just can't find it. Toe mater. Yeah. I may also add a um, transmission cooler to it just to just to be good, just to be safe. I'll probably add an inline transmission cooler as well because uh, that's the killer of transmissions. But it is super light. And, and really the uh, the big resistance when you're towing, um, when you tow, when you have a small vehicle towing a big camper, it's wind resistance rather than weight that produces all the drag, which puts the uh, load on the transmission. So that's why I got the van just to be efficient because I was tired of towing. But this is different because the tracker is this little tiny scrap of nothing behind the van, which blocks the air and it'll be good. Lack of signal is also a killer of transmission. This is true. Wielder of transmission, wielder of funds. Well, I, I, I added one to my Buick when I was towing with it. And so what it is, is it looks like a radiator. I mean, it is a radiator. It's a small radiator about this big, maybe 10 by 14 or something like that with uh, transmission fluid lines going in and out of it. You mount it on the front of the van behind the grill where fresh air can get directly to it. And then it, uh, the transmission fluid just cycles through it and cools the transmission fluid. So it's a transmission. You put an inline transmission fluid cooler. That's what it is. Your in-laws are cool, are Coleman's. Puns, the punster. <laughs> so I'll be, uh, I just got back from um, Sneedville. There was fruit. It was wonderful there. It was, um, this was pretty cool. They, they told me that while I was there to bring them their, my receipts for anything I spent. And the whole time I was there, I spent zero. I didn't spend any money while I was there. So that was pretty cool. Um, they fed me. We all cooked together and that was fun. And we ate meals there nonstop and I didn't go anything. I didn't go anywhere for any food. I ate there the whole time. You know what church that they had there in that building? So they built their own congregation. Oh, what? Awesome. Okay. Well, I have a 2019 Transit, Ford Transit 250 with the 3.7 non-turbo, not the 3.5 um, EcoBoost, but the 3.7 naturally aspirated, not turbo model. That's one more time. It's a 2019 uh, Ford Transit 250 with a 3.7. And it is the, excuse me, it's the automatic six-speed transmission. Wow. If you work at a transmission place, why don't you ask your boys about that? Ask ask your uh, techs what transmission cooler should be added to a 2019 Transit 250 in order to increase the longevity of the transmission from towing a very light 2,600 pound load. That's good stuff. <laughs> Jonathan, you're rotten. You know, I am a horsepower junkie, but... I'm completely satisfied with the horsepower on that van. It's got plenty of horsepower on it. I do need to get my uh, QR codes lined up. I talked to Aaron Gallagher about uh, potentially doing a professionally designed wrap. And uh, that is such a blessing. I am so grateful for that. I'm so grateful. Um, forgot where I was. Oh, yeah. Uh, I talked to Aaron Gallagher about possibly doing a professionally designed wrap where I have all the QR codes. So I'm, I'm just picturing in my head uh, the one big QR code on the back that uh, has baptism now saves you question mark. And then first Peter 321 above and below the QR code. So the QR code here, baptism now saves you question mark first Peter 321 and then pointing an arrow pointing both directions from the QR code to the license plate from the license plate to the QR code. 
so that when people see it in traffic, they are like, oh, and that way they can point their phone at it and it'll take them to a sermon that I'm going to be preaching online. I need to go ahead and do that. Awesome. That is such a blessing. That's the church doing what the church is supposed to do. Um, you know, we all use what we have, the tools and talents that God has put in our charge. Yeah, that's that's the church being the church right there. Y'all take take Anna's lead. Use what you got to glorify him or the gospel on the road band. You know, I really have not, you know, the gospel chariots. All right. That's that's one of the ones that I've thought and the, the yellow submarine, the yellow gospel submarine. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. People are going to call it what they're going to call it anyway. I'm not putting a name on it, but I'm going to put QR codes all over it. Oh, Jonathan saw this going to theology beer camp. He says, shaking my head at that. So we're shaking our head that people have that. They're, they're getting together. They're um, being intoxicated, being less than sober, as we're commanded to be, and then trying to talk about Bible things. It's like, what are you doing? Who gets it? The magic gospel bus. School bus, magic bus. Yeah. And I thought about the vacation Bible school bus. That's pretty good right there. But I'm not doing vacation Bible school, so that would be kind of not good. You know, that was my favorite one. Yeah. Isn't that ridiculous? Beer church. Unbelievable. It's hard to believe. There's my sister Carol. Good to see you, sis. It is so good to see you. <laughs> John Barker, ladies and gentlemen. Bananas for God. He's going bananas for God. I, I don't know. Um, I got the fruit of our lips. Um, Hebrews 13, 15. I will probably make a sticker like that. And then I'll have paulmayshymns.com. I'll have QR codes. I'll probably have a QR code with this that goes to my work on GBN and then my work here on digital Bible study. And then um, I'll have a paulmayshymns.com QR code. And um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the best one, I guess. I was, I was sold on the Bible school bus because it looks like a school bus because it's like a bus and it's yellow, like a school bus. And I was all sold all that on that. But then all of a sudden it didn't make sense because it was, it's not vacation Bible school. Um, I don't know. But I'm not going to put it on there anyway. As long as they put church or Christian on it, anything goes. Isn't that so sad? People just, ugh. ooh, Clay, ladies and gentlemen, look at that one. The Truth Traveler. Yeah. Burning down the highway, proclaiming Christ crucified. That's good right there. The victory van. Oh, that's good too. People are just victory Bible school. Awesome. VBS victory Bible school. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's been throwing out all those names. I guess I cannot commit to anything. I guess I'll just have my QR codes on it. Um, the next thing I have to, Oh, I didn't tell y'all I was freezing on the, in the, in the van this past week. Not really, but sort of. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Truth in transit. Because the word transit's on the back of it. I could put truth just above that or truth in transit, truth transit. Transit of truth, truth in transit. Clay says the baptism bus. Amen. So, uh, I'll put the, um, on some of my trips when I have, a, I've got a cargo carrier. I'll put the, um, my baptistry on that cargo carrier. I really want to have, um, Acts 22, 16. I'm going to have a big Acts 22, 16 vinyl wrap, not vinyl wrap, but just vinyl sticker, whatever, put on there. Acts 22, 16. And now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized, washing away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. I'm going to put that on the, on the baptistry. I think I'm going to put it upside down on the baptistry because when I carry it, it needs to be upside down. So while it's riding down the road, it needs to be like that. That's true. I need to put Don's truth on wheels. I need a QR code for that work together. Put them all together. One giant name. That'll be confusing. <laughs> Just like wrapped around the whole 
border of the roof. Yeah, I've been collecting QR codes for, for all this stuff, and I need to just, I need to make a decision on how I'm going to do it. Uh, the next thing I have to do, I want to tell you about how it was called. The next thing I have to do for the next meeting is I've got to get the shower built. That last meeting that I held had a shower inside the church building, so I didn't have to have one. My next meeting, so I've got, that's the only thing that's a deadline right now is putting the, uh, the shower inside the, the van. I've got a um, gas powered tankless water heater for it. So I think I'm going to, I've been talking about going on the back door. Ooh, somebody talked about putting a TV on the back door. Just like I've got two doors talking to TV, maybe this big as wide as the back one of the back doors that has a, like a billboard that is con like those billboards you see that are, are screens that are constantly rotating. All I need to do is just get an outdoor TV monitor that uh, maybe it runs off of like a, um, a thumb drive or a, um, um, what do they call those things? An XD card, memory card or something uh, that would have like a, a rotating um, advertisements for, all of the different like gospel broadcasting work network and um, Truth FM and GBN and World Evangelism and Voice of Truth International and uh, all the sound works. And that way it could be updated. So let me tell you how I was called. <laughs> ah. That, look at that. Look at that. That's what I was just talking about. And he, already, Clay had already put it up there. That's good. Dude, putting all, yeah, pulling off the, maybe I put that on the, uh, Shane wants me to announce. So, um, Unlocked by Faith is the fourth CD. So I've got three over there. And the fourth CD is, uh, the third CD was all Deb Hibbard songs. The fourth CD will be all Shane Fisher songs. And um, we're ready to go on that. I just need to keep moving forward with it. Um, he says, I hope you'll be able to release it, our first CD soon. Who wants one? So uh, Shane wants me to announce that that's coming soon. It's just a matter of putting everything together. Uh, I think I have a few photographs together for the artwork for it. Put a porch on the side and it's your mobile home. Well, I am going to do uh, um, one of those awnings. Uh, those awnings that go straight out and then they have supports that go like this. And if you don't put the supports out, that awning is straight down. And if it's white, then I can project preaching and songs onto the side of the camper. Yes. And that needs to happen like that. That's one of the, the plans for it. So let me tell you about how it was called because it was pretty funny. So I was in the... Um, I was in the van the day before, two days before I put up, two days before I left for my last meeting, I insulated all of the walls and all the ceiling. And then the day before I left, I put up plastic wall, wallboard, whatever, over top of that. Well, I didn't insulate the back doors. And I found that there's a little bit of missing weather stripping. And I found out that the back doors bowed out a little bit. So it's gapped. I could see light coming through. So it's leaky direct cold air from outside coming in and then the driver's passenger side giant sliding door i didn't insulate that either so it's pretty cold in there i had my space heater with me all i had was a little electric space heater i thought oh well it's not dead of winter it's not going to be too cold i'm not going to take my gas heater um it's not vented so it probably wouldn't be safe to have the gas heater so i'll just bring the electric space heater it's a infrared style it does a fine job. Well, it didn't keep up with the cold. So I took, <laughs> I had brought a bunch of blankets because I didn't know. I brought like four bedspread blanket, comforter, quilts, whatever, and then a sheet and a pillow and then my mattress. I have a tiny pole size mattress in there. And I took the screws out of the wallboard, a series in a line, like in the middle of that wallboard, 
and I screwed the blanket to the wall and then I took it to the other side and I screwed it to the other wall. So I built a blanket fort like when you're a little kid and you build blanket forts. That's what I slept in. And I put the heater inside that. And it was still pretty cold. So then I put <laughs> then I put uh, one of the comforters over the end of the blanket fort. And then I had a sheet. It was all I had left at that point. So I had sheets covering it. So I was in a blanket fort. No joke. I was in a blanket fort. <laughs> and the heater was in there. It was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't too cold. I could have uh, grown man blanket forts, fortified for Jesus. Awesome. I could have gone into the um, greetings, Stephen. Good to see you. Uh, I could have gone into the church building to sleep if I wanted to. They have um, fold out couches. I think they're more like chairs that fold out into beds, but they fold out into beds. It would have been fine. I could have slept in there, no problem. But I just wanted to sleep in my camper. Uh, it was my maiden voyage with it. So I just built a blanket for it and put the heater in there. And then I had two blankets. And under that, I was warm. My head was a little cool, but I like sleeping in that. Paul fought the waiters and well, greetings from the Philippines. It's good to see you over there. My songs are over in the Philippines and our brother, um, Shane Fisher, who's with us today, he goes to the Philippines to serve. And I've uh, preached remotely at the Asian Christian university. I preached from right here in Virginia and at the Asian Christian university, I preached the church of Christ is the church of Christ. Paul fought the waiters and the waiters won. I don't think I could show it very well. Um, I did. Uh, I had put on waiters and um, they were tight getting on. I fought them on. I got them on. And then as soon as I stepped into the baptistry, they were leaking into the feet. I could, you know, I could see that they were old and they were leaking at the top of the boot. And I'm not a big dude. And those things were tight on me. I'm only five foot eight. I wear a size 10 shoe. And yeah, it was hard for me to get into them. And then when we went to take them off, I was wheezing, dying, laughing as they were trying to pull the, the boots off of me and pulled it off. And the as soon as it did, like a cup of water went out onto the concrete floor. And that was pretty funny. But that building there at Sneedville is a blessing. They're smart in how they designed it. It is um, concrete floor. It's a metal building on the outside. It just looks like a factory metal building, barn metal building. But inside, it's all homey and wooden and barn style, whatever, you know, farm style, like my style, to, too. I didn't think about that, but it's homey and comfortable. Um, the, the auditorium itself is narrow, or shallow, rather. It's beautiful and set up nice. It has a balcony. So it's, it's only five pews deep. But it has a balcony with another like six, six or eight pews up there. It's a beautiful facility and they built it. The Lupos built it themselves. Um, and it's an amazing space. Oh, and they built it for singing specifically. They, they designed it acoustically for singing and it sounded awesome. I'm talking with a handful of people and there's one night when we had like 15 people maybe. And the singing was amazing. Amazing. I've heard that people who that live in vans and travel cook on cast iron only in the winter because they stay warm. I don't know if that would be significant though. My great aunt, an uncle did also. Yeah, I've got um, a two burner gas cooktop for the camper that I'm going to mount in there. And yes, I have a um, cast iron. I'll probably just bring the one cast iron skillet. Maybe I'll bring a, um, a frying pan, cast iron frying pan. And then I've got a, I've got a metal skillet that is rectangular shape that fits perfectly on that two burner setup. I'll be doing that. And I do have a, um, a propane heater too that I'll I'll use for the for the camper. Um, I just need to insulate it a little bit better. I need to insulate the back doors and the front door. I really need to seal up that back door. I don't know what's going on with that. Plus, I need to put a, a curtain. Um, I'm just going to use a curtain rod 
behind the driver and passenger seat and do a curtain that separates to insulate that, make it kind of a heavy curtain. I did see, I did see, um, er, er, you know, van down by the river. Yes. If they'll let me, I will. I will. Um, I did see a, um, swivel. There's a swivel that you can add in underneath the seat, underneath your van seat. So you unbolt the van seat, you add this swivel, and then you bolt the seat back down, and then you can swivel. And that would uh, alleviate the need to bring a seat, or, or and it would also maximize the interior space. So I'm thinking about getting one of those uh, for at least the passenger seat, and then later, eventually, um, I am not. Thank you. I am not. Thank you. Um, I might eventually do the driver's seat too, so that my wife and I can both be in those seats facing the, the rear. I'm not sure though. Not sure from eventually when my wife gets to come with me. So the uh, interior of the van is going to have um, two narrow beds against one wall and they're the top one bunk will be able to be down to be the seat back and then it will be flat for a bed for when my wife is with me on the bottom bunk and i'll be on the top bunk and then i'll be on the top bunk when cj's staying with me on the bottom bunk and then also both of them will be up like that they'll both be like this for sleeping and then both be up on the wall out of the way so that my e-bike can be in that space for traveling. That's the plan so far. We'll see if I can pull all that off. But right now, priority is building a shower. If I can build a shower, I'll be fine and I'll have my um, my gas heater when I go to uh, Ohio because it's going north, so it'll be colder and it's only like a month away. It'll probably still be pretty cold up there. I don't know. It's not that far north though. I think it's only like five and a half hours north of me, something like that. So we'll see. Uh, I appreciate all the support, uh, the prayers most of all, and I appreciate this financial support that allowed me to get the van. Truth Traveling Transit. Too much. Keep trying. I, I like Truth in Transit. I could get they make metal um, letters, plastic letters, chrome letters that look like if I can get a font that matches the transit font. And if not, I could do truth in transit and just replace the transit font transit um, emblem with truth in transit or I can just add it to it in a different place too. leave it on there. Transiting truth to you. Keep trying. <laughs> All right. So I'm back home. I'm grateful to be home. I love coming home to my wife. I love my wife. I miss her when I'm gone. It's, uh, this is dangerous to say. I'll come preach for free, but you have to pay me to be away from my wife. That's what you're paying me to do is to be away from my wife and family. So I'm back home. I'm happy to be back home. There was fruit born for God's glory. This is fruit credited to the account of all those who support this work. I uh, love the work I do. I'm grateful for those who support it. I just want to keep glorifying God by bringing souls to the cross. I'll be in Ohio next month, West Virginia the month after that. I'll be at Virginia Christian Camp the month after that. I will be in Tennessee the month after that at Smyrna, at the Stewart Creek Church of Christ. August after that, I will be at Polishing the Pulpit. I wish I could. I can't afford it. So basically, I, I, I take two months off a year, so to speak. Um, 
meaning I only have two months a year where I don't have a gospel meeting. And that's what I'm doing to support my family. So it's it costs me money to go to Virginia Christian camp. It costs me money to go to um, PTP. So that's my limit on that. Boy, I would love to come to the lectureships at Memphis. Hmm. When are those, Jonathan? Yeah, I say that and I'm sitting here thinking about how I can make it happen. I'm looking forward to my uh, kids graduating and then my wife being able to travel with me on these meetings. That's my goal. That's what I'd really like. Working towards the goal. Love you all. I'm going to heaven. Come with me. March 31. What? Got it. March to April 31 to the 4th. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be right after. No, that's impending. That's like right now. Oh, that's right now. Yeah. That's this Sunday. Through Thursday the 4th. Yeah, I don't have anything going then, but I can't afford that. And I got a, I got a lot of work to do. I got to get the, the camper built out before then. I mean, during that time. So, um, it depends. Um, for me, just if somebody says they want me for a meeting, I say, okay, well, I'm open. In this case, I've got openings in. I've talked to somebody. I can't remember who I talked to. I cannot. I can't keep up with anything. I've talked to people about preaching in um, September, October, November, December. I think I might have one in there. No, I don't think I do, actually. So right now, if you wanted to book me for anything in the fall or the winter, that would be super. I have a harder time getting meetings booked in the winter. Um, most people want spring and fall meetings, which means it's harder for somebody like me who's trying to book year round. So um, if you'd be willing to, if you if you all want to book me, I would be delighted to come. Delighted. Thank you for the invitation. I would love to do that. Well, I'd love to go to the Freed Harbin lectureships and the Memphis lectureships. And um, I would love to go to both PTPs and still get. And there's a few Christian camps that have invited me. I would love to do that. Maybe maybe when I get old and I retire, I can just do uh, lectureships and Christian camps. Wouldn't that be amazing? I'd still want to preach. Oh, and I'll be in uh, Galax. Uh, which is two hours from here, an hour and 40 minutes from here. I'll be preaching there pretty soon, like not this Sunday, but next. Whoops, what am I looking at? Yeah, the 7th, April 7th, I'll be at, at uh, Galax. But, oh yeah, well, you know what the thing is, the reason is, Clay, the reason is because they are full-time preachers. I'm the only one that I know of that only does gospel meetings and is not a, a located pulpit minister, which is really good for me because that means like pulpit ministers, lucky pulpit ministers, blessed pulpit ministers get to hold two meetings a year. And the really powerful ones, the ones that are really pulling, they might get four at the most if they're lucky at the most, if they're lucky. But um, I get to hold 10 a year. <laughs> so because of that, I, I, I book, I just constantly, I'm just trying to book up the year, book up the year. I had booked up for next year. I don't have anything booked next year yet, but the reason is because I get to book so many. So they, they get to come up. I wish Nick, I wish I can't afford it. Man, when I get old and uh, I get to retire, uh, maybe I'll get to do both PTPs and maybe there'll be more. We do all the Spark PTP Sparks and then uh, do the lectureships like uh, Memphis and FHU lectureships and get to do all those things. Lecturing shrimps? What in the world, John? Carol, we will be in either Rocky Mount or we may be at um, 
lake drive tomorrow. So Sophia's boyfriend. Kill me now. Oh, did I say that out loud? Sophia's boyfriend lives uh, like five minutes from Lake Drive. So we've been going over to Lake Drive and picking him up and going to worship at Lake Drive. So that's been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's expensive. I know. So would I. I would love to. I would love to. I do have a 20 minute slot at PTP this year to teach my songs. They need to give me an hour slot every single day. That's what they need to do. 45 minute slide every day at polishing the pulpit to teach my songs. Cause I can definitely fill up 45 minutes, seven or 10 days, whatever. Yay. Yeah. When I'm old and tired is when I get to retire. Yeah. I'm not going to get tired. I'm going to go wide open until I'm dead. Like my dad did. We'll see. All right. We covered everything I wanted to cover, which was visiting, catching up, updating the work, talking about what I got done. I got a lot done yesterday. And I want to go record a song so uh, or a video for Almighty Jesus. And I'm going to go do that now. And we're going to pray before we leave here when we visited for nearly an hour. And then after that, Shane Fisher, I will share the tracks for, and you'll have to remind me what song I'm sharing. Um, somebody dragged up a, a older, slightly older TikTok, I don't know, from less than a month ago, but they go so, we, I do so many that they get lost in the mix. Somebody said something about Church of Christ doctrine, and I ran inside on video, I'm like, I'm going to show this guy, and I was being silly and I ran inside. I'm going to show, I'm going to get my church of Christ manual. I'm going to get my church of Christ guidebook. I'm going to get my church of Christ rule book. And I'm going to show that guy. And then I came out with this. Oh, look, it's my church of Christ manual. I was just joking, you know, shining uh, the gospel light on the darkness of people that go to man-made manuals for their doctrine from the church of Christ manual is the Bible. This is the doctrine of Christ. We abide in the doctrine of Christ to be the church of Christ. I'm going to film one. I'm going to film that one today. It's been a long time. Oh, look, it's Jimmy Bagwell. Good to see you, brother. On the road, working, always, always working. No, that's all right. I'm glad you're with us. It's good to see you. You got here in time for the prayer. The best part, right? We'll pray for your can the rest of your journey to be safe. Bagwell travels. My my wife and my daughter have headed to um, South Carolina, and we will pray for their safe trips. And her sister, actually, um, my sister in law. They're going down to see Yvette's aunt, who is probably going to move into a nursing home soon, and they're just trying to help her with her stuff. Yes, sir, Shane. Yes, sir. I will. All right, so I've got quite a few things to pray for. If you have anything else, I'll give it another one minute. If you can get your prayer request in in one minute. Uh, I'm going to pray for Tent Revival. Coming up. Let's see if I've got my Ohio meeting on there. Nope. Oh, my next meeting is in Ohio. Yes, I do have it on there. Uh, pray for uh, PTP. And Branson. And. Sevierville. Going to pray for the Memphis lectureships to be a blessing. We're going to pray for Sneedville. We've been praying for Jim Gamir lately. He's an elder at the uh, Niceville, Florida congregation. 
and uh, I held a meeting down there a year or so ago, and uh, he's been having some severe health issues, and he's actually doing better right now, so we're going to thank God for that, and... Russell McCullough is doing better. He got a, he's in remission from cancer. So we're going to pray for that. All right. Okay. It's been good to be with you today. Thanks for visiting and catching up on work. And uh, I plan to be back with another sermon and song ASAP, possibly Saturday night. I do not know what's going on. Saturday for Savior Ridge Church Road Church of Christ. Okay. Is that a meeting, John? Thank you, Carol. Thank you so much. Uh, several of us have mentioned that today. Um, yes, yes, we got that on there. So Clay is another one who uh, used to be part of a denomination, and Clay has obeyed the gospel, and he wants his family to listen to the truth, too. So we're going to pray for Clay's family. That's great. We'll, we'll put, I'll add that after your request for a better schedule. Good, good. You know what? We'll, we'll pray for Bob from Kentucky. Kentucky Bob does Bob's Bible study, and he's, I think he's got two TikToks, Kentucky Bob and Bob's Bible study. So Bob on TikTok wields the truth. We're going to pray for his work, and we're going to pray for um, Goofy Poofy on TikTok. That is Courtney. We'll pray for Courtney on TikTok. Because she wields the truth on, on TikTok, trying to teach the lost. And um, Brandon Tibbetts, he also, faithful gospel preacher, wields the truth on TikTok. We're going to pray for CJ's work on TikTok. Um, let's see who else is wielding the truth on TikTok. Clay does too. And... Grab it. I'm just going to look at TikTok and see my friends there. Oh, Curtis Cooper, definitely. Curtis Cooper, who I met because of um, TikTok, and he also wields the truth on Facebook. All right, that's good enough. All right, let's see if I missed anything else. All right, it's time to go ahead and go to God in prayer. Thank you for being me, with me for another broadcast of the Fruit of Our Lips. We did not cover a sermon and song today. We visited and caught up, and now we're going to do the best part, which is praying. That's the best part of these broadcasts. Thank you for being with me. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we love you. We love being Christians. We love being your children, and we love being united in Christ. We love the truth, Lord, and we love being part of your truth. We love being able to teach truth to other people so that they can obey your truth, Father. We believe that you are our one God and that Jesus is God and that he is your son, your one son, and that he is our only hope because of his perfect life. We believe in you, God, and we believe in your son, Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit. And we believe that he breathed out the truth through inspired writers, and that is your one Bible. We believe in the one faith. And we believe in the one baptism. We believe in the one church that your son purchased with his blood. And we believe in this truth, Father. Thank you for making the truth plain in your Bible. We believe the Bible is from you, God. Thank you for making the Bible for us. Thank you for making truth plain and knowable. Thank you that we can know the truth and abide in the truth to be your children, to be Christians. Thank you, Lord, for truth. We pray for those who are in a bad school bus crash. We pray for everybody involved with that. And we pray for physical healing. And we pray for hearts to heal from the loss of life. 
We pray for Jonathan Exum's work with the Hyderabad School of Preaching. We pray that his teaching would be a blessing to the hearers and that more people would come to know the truth because of Jonathan's abiding in the truth. Thank you for Jonathan's work over there. We rejoice that uh, two denominational preachers are now Christians and that they can teach the doctrine of Christ now. We thank you for this, Father. We pray your rich blessings on the Hyderabad Church um, School of Preaching that it would bear fruit for your glory, that people would be armed in the truth, educated in the truth, and wield the truth. Please bless that work to grow and bear fruit for your glory, God. We pray for those involved in the Baltimore Bridge disaster. We pray that um, your hand would be upon all those who are serving, trying to take care of all that's going on there. And we pray that you would bless those who are hurting from the loss of lives of family members. We pray for Clay. We pray for his new jobs, him, him to get a good job schedule where he would never have to miss an assembly of your church, Father. And we pray for his family. We pray for him to be a positive influence on his family so that they too would obey the same truth that Clay obeyed. We thank you for his, that he found the truth and that he was honest with the truth that he learned in the Bible himself. We thank you that he was brave enough to overcome the the negative feeling that comes with learning that what you believe is not in the Bible, but it was sourced from man. And we pray that his family would be just as brave and honest with the evidence from the Bible as Clay was. Please bless Clay in his walk, bless his new marriage, his young, his young marriage. I don't think he's been married long at all, a year or two maybe. And we pray for that marriage. We pray that they would be strong in you, Lord. And we pray that you would bless that family. And please bless Clay to be a blessing to his whole family, Lord. We pray for those in Ukraine with all of the, the war and the death and the horrible things going on there, the crimes against humanity, the sadness and the sin that's going on with that. We pray that that would end, Father. Please end the war in the Ukraine, please, Father. We pray for the Sneedville congregation. We rejoice at the new Christian who was made during my meeting. It is such a privilege to teach the truth and have people obey the truth, Father. I'm re I am fulfilled when this happens, and I am grateful that I'm allowed to do that work. Thank you, God. Please bless me with more meetings so I can bring more people to you, God, for your glory. You are glorified in this, God. All of it is your glory, God. Thank you for the privilege of doing it. God, please bless the Sneedville congregation to be motivated and to work together. And please bless them to bring those erring members back who have left the faith. Please bless them to come back. Please bless all of those members who came to be in private with their private needs. Please bless each individual member. I've had so many, Father, come to me in private during my meetings that I cannot remember them all, but you do, Father. You know the things that they have asked for, and please bless them with these needs to be filled, Father. Please bless their hearts. We pray for the Mansfield meeting that is my next meeting coming up. I pray that you would give me a safe trip there and that the church there would be built up, edified, and motivated through my work and that many people would come to know you during the meeting, that they would invite lost people to hear the gospel so that people would be able to come to know you through obedience to you, to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray for the Bagwells and their travels. Please keep them safe. Thank you for their work in the kingdom. It's ongoing, and I'm grateful for it. Please bless them. I pray for my wife and my daughter and my sister-in-law as they travel to South Carolina. Please keep them safe, and please bless them to be a blessing to her aunt once she gets down there. I pray for the upcoming tent revival in West Virginia. Please bless that planning to go well for us to all show up ready to work. Bless the work there, everybody's travels and all that work to bear fruit for your glory, God. We pray for the PTPs coming up in Branson and Sevierville and all the sparks that are ongoing. We pray that those would all just abide in the truth and be a blessing to all hearers, that the church would be motivated to work for you and that these would help people be armed, help the church be armed to do your work, to defend the truth against Satan's fables. Please bless these works to grow and to be a blessing and to abide in the truth. 
We pray for the Memphis lectureships, the same for it, that the people who are there would learn the truth from the word, be armed and educated to do your will, Father. And please bless all of these to result in fruit for your glory. We pray for Jim Gamir, his health and Russell's health. We rejoice that they are doing better. We thank you for hearing this prayer for their on their behalf, and we pray that they would continue to heal, Father. Please bless Sue Roth's health and Shirley Agee's health. Please bless my grandmother's health in Texas. We pray for the Savior Ridge Road Church of Christ, and we pray for whatever work's going on there. Uh, we pray for the meeting that I believe is coming up. Please bless it to bear fruit for your glory. God, I keep seeing new conversions that people are sharing on Facebook, and I rejoice over this. We rejoice when people come to the water in faith and are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for doing that, God. You give the increase. You are glorified. We water and we plant and souls are coming to you, Father, and we rejoice over this. We want to go to heaven and we want others to come to heaven with us. Thank you for making the way plain. We pray for all of those who are working on TikTok. We pray for Robert and Waylon and for Bob and for Courtney and Brandon and CJ and Clay and Curtis and the other Robert. We pray for all of those who are working on TikTok. It's such a different platform and it has been fruitful. Uh, many souls have come to you because of my work on, on TikTok. And for this, I am grateful, Father. Thank you for the privilege of working using that platform. Satan had it long enough and we took it from him. Thank you that we can use it against Satan now. Please bless all of those who teach the truth on face on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and all digital platforms. Bless the truth to be proclaimed. Bless teachers of truth to abide in the truth. Bless all the schools of preaching to abide in the truth. Bless all the congregations that teach the truth that are of congregations of your one church to abide in the truth. Just stay true to the word. Bless us all with diligent study and understanding. Please, Father, bless us with wisdom and understanding as we study. Please help us remember to study. Please help us remember to pray. We know that we sin, Father, and we pray that you would forgive us as we walk in the light, as you promised you would through the blood of Jesus Christ. Please help us to remember that you are with us when we are tempted that you have provided an escape. Please help us to remember to look for the escape and to overcome through Christ who strengthens us. We love you, Lord. Thank you for this digital connection. Thank you for this time. We pray your rich blessings on every person who was digitally assembled today and all those who are not. We pray rich blessings on your church worldwide and on all people worldwide. Please end the wars. In Jesus' name, all these things we pray. Amen. Good to be with you. Love you all. I'm going to go shoot a hymn video. Almighty Jesus. Love you all. <sighs> Always good to do this. Always good. You're a blessing to me. All of you. All of you. Let's keep the faith. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep walking in the light. Keep running that race. Love all of you. I love you, Christian. Thank you, Clay, for your work. I love you, Christian. Thank you for your faith. Thank you. Keep the faith. Love all of you. I'll see you soon. See you next time, Lord willing, on Saturday night, 9 p.m.